thinking right today about like a couple of things that I miss or the couple of things that I'm looking forward to do actually once everything gets back up and running. And, um, you know, there's the standard things about being in bars and clubs and going out and seeing your friends and things, but I'm just thinking about actual moments, right? And I kind of jacked the idea from Irish Jafia's podcast. So definitely check that out. Irish Jafia Skeptic Tank, where he kind of asks a few of his comedian friends the five things they're looking forward to once everything gets, you know, uh, settled down and everything's open back up again. And part of the thing, and one of the things that I was thinking about, right, that I absolutely miss, um, like, you know, the actual moment, the actual situational aspect of it is the idea of walking up to a club, right? Whether it's a really popular club like the Bird Kind or Fold, or whether it's something underground or something that, you know, your friends are throwing or warehouse event. The actual walk to the event is what I miss the most, right? Like walking to the place, but, um, crossing paths with somebody that you don't know but they happen to be going there um having that moment where you're trying to decide whether or not you should speak to them or not um but they maybe maybe they speak to you and you have like a little bit of a cordial kind of chit chat before you go into the venue walking up there up to the gate and then seeing somebody you recognize on the other side of the gate having that really crazy moment like hey what's up man what no, 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 no. shooting the shit through the gate being all excited uh you know get your drinks ready uh, getting anything else that you have with yourself ready as well like all that good shit is what i miss those little moments like that right um other moments could be like when you're throwing on, when you're throwing your own party right when you're when you promote a club night in a club uh, in a nightclub or in a bar and then you have that moment when the rave is finished and it's just you you know the promoter maybe a couple of friends that helped you out and some of the djs that you booked maybe some close friends and family hanging around after the event's finished maybe getting some drinks from the bartenders who maybe had a good relationship with you because they you know they enjoyed the night the man just looking at your ass because you made them loads of money that whole moment is really fun man just hanging around that kind of vibe when everything's kind of like settled down and you're kind of figuring out to do an afters whether or not you should go home go to something else like it's just crazy i, I enjoyed that and then I'd, I'd say um having to navigate through a really busy cocktail bar that's another thing like navigate towards the bar or towards the table where your friends are at that's something that i miss like you know the ambience the smells uh the outfits the makeup the shoes the clothes just i love to kind of like absorb all that shit and take it all in the people behind the bar the different personalities you know bartenders have that kind of sixth sense of knowing kind of where everyone is they have really good spatial awareness i'm assuming because you know you're in a bar you're having to carry flipping uh, a whole plateau of drinks so you're kind of aware of what's going on they kind of clock you you maybe kind of give a nod to the guy behind the bar a little quick one you keep on going with the girl you kind of give a high five because you know from somewhere else you find your group of friends you have a little chit chat you you gather around you check if anyone's got a drink first if you have you, you sorry you go around a circle and you double check if anyone needs a drink and you go and get some um being at the bar taking out your car and having a little chit chat with somebody at the, at the bar just sitting there like yeah what's going on this place is mad oh that moment is so beautiful but you know alas that will not come for a long time to come i think and those situations are going to be few and far between you know unfortunately but hey um hopefully once it does come back around there will be a sense of appreciation i think i think for most of us we're going to have that in it we should have a little sense of appreciation like jesus man look at the stuff that we missed out on look at the stuff we didn't take for we took for granted i'll say i think that's something i'm gonna have and i expect to take yourself for granted the, being outdoors and being in a park i'm not gonna lie like i said though, the other day i'm getting annoyed of all these kind of you know part-time fucking runner wankers right that have suddenly decided they've turned to fucking you know uh, mo farah that's annoying um and also the people that have suddenly turned into like these kind of outdoor activists right like oh i have to be outside i need to get some fresh air i can't be indoors it's like get out of here when when we were allowed to go outside as we please none of you guys were going outside that often anyway you're doing you're doing what everyone else was doing and going to nightclubs and bars like you know like the rest of humanity getting on that fucking train to liverpool street station and you know and enjoying yourself there no one went out in parks and all of a sudden everyone wants to be around greenery right around the trees and the gr like fuck off and for sure most most of those parks especially the ones we have in london they're full of piss and caca anyway it's not as if you're going to some you know utopia it's not bloody it's not the garden of eden is it it's far cry from the garden of eden i'll tell you that for much for sure but hey what do i know